Hello and welcome to the fastest money method in Grand Turismo 7. This method will actually net you 825,000 credits in under 24 minutes of racing. Now the tune that I'm using is from Rocky5516. They make some of the fastest, most broken money making tunes that you'll actually find. So please go and check their channel out, it will be linked in the description. So firstly, you need a car and that's going to be the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. Now this car will set you back 420,000 credits, but as I said, it's going to be well worth it in the long run. Now once you have the vehicle, you're going to head straight on over to the tuning shop and this is where you need to pay very careful attention. On screen now are all of the parts that you need to purchase and yes you have to purchase all of these parts otherwise the glitch will not work. So when purchasing these parts you might realize that you actually purchased almost everything to fully upgrade the Mercedes. So now where the glitch actually comes in is now when we start focusing on the actual tuning sheets but it is a bit of a costly upgrade like all of the parts that you do need to install so roughly you're gonna spend over 600,000 in total to cover the cost of this build. Now there are actually different variations to glitch this vehicle out so some allow you to use super soft tires the one that we are using is racing intermediates so that is the tire compound that we are going to be running for this specific build. Now once you finish in the tuning shop you're going to head on over to GT Auto and you're going to add a front splitter type A and then for your rear spoiler it is going to be a low spoiler type 7. So once you have that we can finally head on over to the tuning sheet. Now please pay very careful attention to this because if you do make a single mistake here the glitch will not work and you're going to come to the comment section and start complaining. So. The tire compound that we are going to be using are racing intermediates for both the front and the rear. We are only going to be using this tire throughout the event. For your suspension, now this you can tune it to your own liking. It doesn't affect your performance points racing. But if you just want to copy mine, the body height adjustments in the front is 95, 105 in the rear. Anti-roll bar is both 10. Dampening ratio compression for both front and rear is 38. Dampening ratio expansion is 50 for both front and rear. Natural frequency is 3.60 in the front and 3.85 in the rear. Both the front and the rear negative camber angle is 3.0. Toe angle is going to be 0 0.10 going outward and then 0 0.20 going inward. Your differential you don't actually have to touch it you just need to have it installed. Downforce it has to be at 279 in the front and 291 in the rear. Your ECU is going to be maxed out at 100%. Your ballast is going to be 17. Balance positioning 5 and your power restrictor at 97. Your transmission you're going to just set it at 360 kilometers per hour. Ensure you have a high RPM turbocharger. With your anti-lag system you can either have it off and that's going to set you at 593 performance points or you can have it on with full strength and that will set you at 597 performance points which will still put you under the limit for the event. Now you also want to have your racing intercooler installed, air cleaner is going to be racing, silencer is going to be racing, by brakes the only thing you want is brake pads. Racing brake pads is the only thing you need to have added when it comes to your braking. And at the bottom right are just all of the parts you need to have installed in your vehicle. Now the event that we are going to be using is the WTC 600 around Tokyo Expressway. This is a 12 lap event that will pay out 550,000 credits but with your clean race bonus that bumps it up to 825. So now when the event starts the first thing you want to do is make sure it is on fume 1. Also you want to set your traction control over to level 3 because this way it will reduce actual tire weight. So this will help you in the long run. Now as you can see the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series has so much top end speed compared to its competitors. As it is able to do almost 390 kilometers per hour 
before you have to slam on the brakes or oh wait you don't have to yes we are gonna be wall riding this course if you do this event without wall riding you will be able to complete it in about 24 minutes and 40 seconds that is just under 25 minutes so to save over a minute worth of time you are gonna be wall riding I'm now going to show you my fastest lap so you just have an idea on how to take the circuit. Now you can see that the Mercedes is doing over 370 km per hour going uphill. And just before we actually need to start going towards the lift and riding the wall, we clock 390 km per hour. So we wall grind that wall, the second wall as well. We just stay against the wall. But after we do the first turn, you come a little bit off and then you just brace for the second turn. Now, yeah, absolutely no wall riding. You just need to try and carry as much speed as possible and try not to go sliding off into the barrier because with the intermediate tires, they do get a little bit slippery every now and then. You try to carry as much speed as possible throughout the circuit. Now, once again, we wall ride this wall then we move over to the right hand side of the circuit because we are going to move into another wall ride as you can see we save a lot of time by actually wall riding for example here instead of braking and going over to under 150 kilometers per hour you are able to just carry so much more speed by just grinding the body up against the wall and this is what's the best part about it you do not receive any penalties and your clean race bonus is not affected however you will lose out on your clean race bonus if you look at this hairpin right here if you hit any of these cones that are placed on the outer parts of this hairpin you will lose your clean race bonus as well if you take this inside corner of the same hairpin too tightly and you cross over the white line that is your clean race bonus gone so my advice to you when you come up to this hairpin try to take it as much in the middle as possible so just be wary of it when you are coming up to that hairpin because if you slam on the brakes too late you connect that cone that is your race actually over because then you are only gonna receive 550,000. And as you can see, we are already at the end of the lap by setting a 1 minute 46 second lap around the circuit. Now when it comes to your pit stops, you are going to have a pit stop at the end of lap 4. Now with the end of lap 4, you need to be very careful because as you can see, I actually ran out of fuel. But I managed to just glide my car into the pit lanes, refuel and change my tyres. So you can have better fuel efficiency by driving a car using a manual transmission it just allows for a lot more fuel efficiency and then you're gonna pit again at the end of lap 8 now you do need to be careful because midway through the completion of lap 8 your tires are gonna be completely shot and that could lead to you ending up spinning out so to avoid this just take it carefully you won't lose that much time you will lose less time if you take it carefully than if you do spin out now for both pit stops you are going to change your tires and you are going to refuel to 100% and now it will take you to the end of the race so this is the end of you coming back into the pits so once you leave the pit lane the second time you're going to set your fuel map over to fuel map level 6 now you're going to use this for the entirety of lap number 9 and lap number 10 this is just to guarantee that you will reach the end of the race with some fuel still remaining. If we actually take a look at the end of the race, we see that our tires are actually shot at the rear and we finish with very little fuel remaining. But as I said, we use fuel map 6 on lap 9 and 10 to just guarantee that we will make it across the line with fuel remaining. So that is our first place finish with a complete time of 23 minutes and 34 seconds and this is including my spin outs me not wall riding all of the corners just completely forgetting and still receiving a clean race bonus so making this one of the fastest money making methods in Grand Turismo 7 if you do go on to enjoy this video or if you are looking for more money methods watch the video on screen right now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Peace.